lovelies, it's Miss Lady Lace here on my Glamour channel and today I have for you a bit of a fun tutorial where I would try out a hairstyle. Usually when I make videos here on YouTube I'm quite confident with what I'm styling and showcasing but today I just thought I'd try something fun and we'll see how that goes. Quite often I have hairstyles that I like to do on a regular basis, I'm very confident with them but I thought in the future I'd like to look at some vintage hairstyles and try recreating them. Today I I thought I'd try out a Jane Mansfield style so I'm gonna kind of do a variation of these two looks here the first one the curls are a little bit more brushed out so I really want to incorporate that sort of styling and I think I'll go in between the two front sections so I think it'll just kind of be generally wavy but I do think I want to go with this hat look and try and recreate that before today's tutorial, I've already curled the back section, so this is day two of a set and I have some curlers in the top here and I'll kind of talk through how I've put them in. So I have six curlers in the top. The focus though is this section here. So it's very much on the edge of kind of where my hairline meets here. I've sectioned back a couple inches gone around and sectioned down a couple inches. So this is different to my usual sectioning. My usual sectioning would probably be around here. So it's just extended out as her hair really flows out in that direction. I did find a reference image where Jane Mansfield was in curlers and I kind of had a look at what she was doing. She has this section rolling backwards rather than forwards to wrap under. So that is what I've replicated too. In this section, I've then done two rollers at the back two rollers in the front and they're rolling backwards. To avoid the indentations here, I've simply taken the plastic bit and rolled that back and then pinned that so it's not going to create that mark through the hair. For the two side rollers, I just kind of picked a section and I put that up in a roller. I'm going to try and have the curl frame the face a little bit. If it doesn't work though, I'm just going to brush it into the rest of the hair. As I said, this is a bit of trial and error. With a lot of my hair videos, we work from back to front. So we're going to start by brushing out this back section, styling that, adding in these two side curls and then styling the front. So I'm just going to start by brushing from the ends and working my way up. This is just kind of detangling and I want to brush the scalp a little bit as well. I thought while I did my brush out, I would also kind of talk a little bit more about Jane Mansfield as she's someone that I've read a couple books on. I find her really fascinating and she's just one of those 1950s icons. Jane was an American actress, singer and nightclub entertainer. Something I find really fascinating about her is later in her life she did two burlesque style performances which is something that I'm really drawn to. She was born in 1933 and I would say she was most popular in the 50s and 60s. She was famous for being a blonde bombshell and she also did a lot of publicity stunts to bring attention to her and her work. A lot of her films you can actually watch here on YouTube. If you just type in, I think, Jane Mansfield full movie, quite a few will come up, but there's lots of movie sites nowadays where you can watch them too. Sadly, Jane Mansfield did die in 1967 and she was only 34 years old. And I think with these sorts of tragic things happen, she died in a really tragic car accident. It immortalizes people even more because you don't get to see their full potential in life. Jane Mansfield was very fascinating. She was portrayed as that dumb blonde, but she was very intelligent and did as much as she could to further her career. So I definitely recommend looking a little bit more into her life and looking into some of her films as they're a good bit of inspiration. So I've done a light brush through. I've really tried to brush on the scalp to really get those oils moving through. I'm now gonna dress that up a little bit more. So I'm gonna kind of divide that through the back and this will help me focus work on two sections and then combine them. I'm still using the Sedell hairspray. It's not my favorite personally, but my Coles brand favorite has been out for quite a few months now. So I'm just kind of settling with what I can get. There's quite a few shortages still at the supermarket. So we make do with what we have. When I want to define a certain section, I can just press in with a comb to where I want that to sit and then release that comb. You can see it's created that little ridge there. Thank you. 
I'm just kind of sculpting all of this under and now I'm just going to smooth the flyaways through here with just a touch of hairspray and a bristle brush. I'm now going to take out this curler and see if this curl looks beautiful. So I think I want this to kind of put some shape through here and flow into this section. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a light brush through. And I'm going to use my hands to manipulate that. And then when it's kind of sitting where I want, I'll take an alligator clip and clip that into place. Add a bit of hairspray. Then I'm going to pull it up, clip, add a bit more hairspray. And now I'm going to try and brush this into here, but I don't want to pull too hard that I ruin what's up here. I'm going to try that first with my bristle brush. It's kind of doing a thing. I'm going to give it a nice hairspray now. I don't have too many alligator clips at the moment, so I'm just going to let these set and then I'll move on to the other side. Alrighty, I'm going to try taking these out now and hopefully it sits. I might put some pins through there to help it stay though. I'm going to take out that first one. I'm going to take a little bobby pin through and maybe just catch under this and secure it through the scalp. And now the next one. Oh, it's kind of looking cute. It's doing a thing. Take another pin and I'm just going to catch through the inner part of that style and pin it down. And I think that's going to hold that in place. We'll now try exactly the same on the other side. Oh, it's looking cute. This side's definitely better, which is a shame because this is going to come and cover this. But I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. So now we are on to the top section, which I think is where our trouble is going to be. I am going to take my clips and go back in just on this section, just so I don't brush into this with the top section. And I'm just going to start by taking these out. So I don't think I want to brush this through thoroughly. I think I'm going to work on the back section first and I'm just going to brush the bottom section here. And I'm going to try putting some teasing into this and I'm going to do the same to the front. I'm smoothing and combining this section and then also building the height so it can roll over. I'm going to take my bristle brush and just lightly smooth the top section. Then I'm going to take some poison apple setting spray to help with those flyaways. Taking a very small amount on my fingers, I'm going to warm the product up in my hands and just kind of use that to smooth. A bit of hairspray too. So some of the curls are kind of sitting behind the section here. So I'm going to take a long bobby pin and I'm going to try and catch those into place because they're helping hold the height of that style. Now the hard part is I want to style this a little bit more without ruining this up here. I'm firstly going to take this clip and I've just put it across here so it's not pulling that out. And the next tricky part is I'm going to hold this firmly here and just lightly brush the ends with a comb. Oh, that's coming together quite nicely. So I'm getting a bit of separation here. Just going to go back in with my comb and try and brush that up. And I think I need to pin more through the back of this side. I'm also going to take this clip out. And I'm going to pin this into place. I'm just going to be catching hopefully just the bottom part of it. 
I'm gonna catch a pin through the middle of the style as well adding hairspray as I go I'm really happy with how this is looking I think I'm not gonna play with it too much more it's definitely not identical to what hers look like because I was trying to amalgamate two looks together I'll pop on an outfit now and let's see how that looks well I am super happy with how this turned out in comparison to the image I think it's really fabulous I kind of combined these two looks and did my own thing but I'm really happy with this hairstyle and it's definitely something I'll be including sections of in the future for my daily hairstyling routine. I truly hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it a bit of fun, maybe a bit useful too. If you have any tutorials or hairstyles you'd like to see me replicating, do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like early access to these videos, exclusive content, and to help support me here on YouTube, I do have my Glamour community online now. I'd like to thank all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons and Glamour Burlesque students. For more pin-up hair inspiration, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. I'll pop a little link here as well as at the end of the video. And to never miss out on my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below, and I'll be seeing you all real soon. Mm -hmm.